gieo mầm yêu thương hạnh phúc đồng hành cùng con trẻ Hello, everybody. You are listening to the Bilingual Fairy Tale Series, a product from Cultural House of Youth in Ho Chi Minh City. Hello, dear children. Our story tonight is named "The Ugly Duckling." The story is about a poor duckling who had a strange appearance because of his differences. He faced a lot of discrimination and bias, until one day, he found out his true identity. This is a very touching story with a surprising and interesting ending. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Once upon a time, down an old farm. Lived the duck family, and Mother Duck had been sitting on the clutch of new eggs. One nice morning, the eggs hatch, and out pop six chirpy ducklings. But one egg was bigger than the rest, and it didn't hatch. Mother Duck couldn't recall laying that seven egg. How did it get there? Talk, talk. The little fellow was pecking inside his shell. Did I count the eggs wrongly? Mother Duck wondered. But before she had time to think about it, the last egg finally hatched. A strange-looking duckling with gray feathers that should have been yellow, a black beak, and huge feet gazed at a worried mother. The ducklings grew quickly, but Mother Duck had the secret worry. I can't understand how this ugly duckling can be one of mine. She said to herself, shaking her head as she looked at her last born. Well, the great duckling certainly wasn't pretty, and since he ate far more than his brothers, he was outgrowing them. As the days went by, the poor ugly duckling became more and more unhappy. His brothers didn't want to play with him; he was so clumsy. Whenever they played and chased, the poor duckling always fell behind and sometimes knocked his sister and brothers to the ground. On the farmyard, foes simply laughed at him. The horses neighed at him and called him names like "Blacky Baby" and "Ugly Duck." The cows whispered mean words when he walked by. The farm dog barked and growled at the poor duckling, though he never did anything that upset others besides being strange looking. He felt sad and lonely, while Mother Duck did her best to console him. Poor little ugly duckling," she would say. "Why are you so different from the others? Hmm. I don't know what I can do to help you, poor baby." And the ugly duckling felt worse than ever. He secretly wept at night. Nobody wants me, and nobody loves me. They all tease me. Hmm. Why am I different from my brothers? And then one day, at sunrise, he ran away from the farmyard. He stopped at the pond and began to question on the other birds. Hey, do you know any ducklings with gray feathers like mine? But everyone shook their heads in pity. Sorry, boy, we don't know anyone as ugly as you. Sorry. However. Ugly duckling did not lose heart and kept on making inquiries. He went to another pond, where a pair of large geese gave him the same answer to his question. What's more, they warned him, 
Do not stay here. Go away. It's too dangerous for you. There are men with guns around here. The duckling was sorry he had ever left the farmyard, but he was still determined to find an answer. Then one day, his travels took him near an old countrywoman's cottage. Thinking he was a stray goose, she caught him. I'll put it in the hut. I hope it's a female, and it will lay plenty of eggs," said the old woman, whose eyesight was poor. But our ugly duckling let not a single egg. The hen kept frightening him. Just wait! If you don't lay eggs, the old woman will break your neck and pop you into the pot. And the cat chipped in. I hope the woman cooks you, and then I can chew at your bones. The poor ugly duckling was so scared that he lost his appetite. Though the old woman kept stuffing him with food and crumpling, if you won't lay eggs. At least hurry up and get plump. Oh dear me! Moaned the now terrified duckling. Oh no! I'm gonna die at fright first, and I did so when hoping someone would love me. Then one night, finding the hut door was half closed, he escaped. Once again, he was all alone. He fled as far away as he could, and then at dawn, he found himself in a thick bed of reeds. If nobody wants me, I'll just hide here forever. There was plenty of food, and the duckling began to feel a little happier, although he was lonely. One day at sunrise, he saw a flight of beautiful birds flock overhead. White. With long, slender necks, yellow beaks, and large wings, they were migrating south. If only I could look like them just for one day," said the duckling admiringly. Let's pause a little bit right here, children. Can you guess what kind of birds the ugly duckling just saw? The ones with long, slender neck, yellow beak, and white feather. Hmm. Well, it's all right if you have not figured it out, cause we will meet those beautiful birds again at the end of our story. And then winter came, and the reed bed froze. The poor duckling left home to seek food in the snow. He dropped exhausted to the ground, but the farmer found him and put him in his big jacket pocket. I'll take him home to my children. They'll look after him. Poor thing, he is frozen. The duckling was showered with kind care at the farmer's house. The kind family gave him food, made him a soft bed out of own clothes, and let him sleep near the fireplace to dry his wet feathers. It was the first time in his life that the ugly duckling felt loved. In this way. The ugly duckling was able to survive the long, bitterly cold winter. However, by springtime, he had grown so big that the farmer decided to set him free by the pond. The ugly duckling was terribly sad, thinking that he was about to be alone and unloved again. The children waved goodbye bitterly. When the farmer brought him away and said, "Goodbye, beautiful and birdy, we will miss you." The ugly duckling was a bit confused. Hmm, why did they call me beautiful? I am the ugly duckling after all. That was when the duckling saw himself mirrored in the water. Goodness, how I changed! I hardly recognize myself. His Ash-colored feathers had turned into silky white, which shines like golden and silver plates in the sunshine. His beak has changed the color to warm orange. His neck is now long and elegant. 
he is now no longer a clumsy duckling, but a graceful bird who swam like an elegant dancer. The flight of swans winged north again and glided onto the pond. When the duckling saw them, he realized he was one of their kind, and soon he joined them. What kind of bird are you? He asked excitedly. We are swans, just like you. They said warmly. Where have you been hiding? Well, it's a long story," replied the young swan, still as doubted. It took him quite some time to realize that he was not a strange-looking duck at all. He was indeed a swan. The fellow swan greeted him with respect and kindness, and welcomed him to the new family. He heard children on the river bank exclaim. Hey! Look at that young swan with glittering feathers. He is indeed the finest of them all, and he almost burst with happiness. The beautiful swan even went back to visit his duck family in the old farm. It felt like years since he left that place where he was isolated and even bullied. Now, when the beautiful and majestic swan stepped. Into the dirty farm, everyone dropped silence and secretly regretted that they once were so mean to him. He hugged his mom tightly and said the last goodbye. Then he returned to his new family, the Swan family, and they again flew south for the winter. This time, he knew that he would never be lonely anymore. And that he had found a place where he belonged. What a touching story, don't you think? The young swan had carried the name the ugly duckling for such a long time, and was laughed at by many, since he was far too different from a regular duck. However, he never felt discouraged to find his true self. Through the story we just heard. I hope you realize that the difference in appearance is a factor that is easily discussed and make fun of, but it was a very mean and bad thing to do. No matter if it's yourself or someone you know, please remember that deep inside of each person there is beauty, and don't forget to love yourself, as every one of us is unique. And worthy of love and care. That is the end of our story. I will see you all again in another story. Goodbye, and stay safe. Gieo mầm yêu thương, hạnh phúc.